I feel like every single morning this year, 2020, that I've woken up, something crazy has happened. Hello, people of the internet. So today, I'm gonna, I, so yeah, so. Blah, 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 blah. I'm kind of retarded. So I woke up this morning and I really wanted to film a mukbang and then I went on the internet and oh my god. I feel like every single morning this year, 2020, that I've woken up, something crazy has happened, whether it's been meth gators, the pen protests, the fact that Flint still doesn't have clean water, Joe Exotic, Love is Blind. So many things have happened this year. Every day I wake up, something crazy is going on on the internet. Quick disclaimer, do not send any hate to any people or companies or anything that I talked about in this video. Everything that I'm about to talk about is all alleged conspiracy and it's just kind of up in the air. Nothing's been proven yet. So yeah, we're just going to dive in and talk about what's going on. So this morning I woke up and I had the day off work and I said, you know what, I should film a mukbang today. But after being on the internet for about 15 minutes, I realized that there is yet another scandal. No, it's not Dramageddon. No, it has nothing to do with any of the YouTubers that I know of. But it is about Wayfair. When you need something for your home, Wayfair's got you covered. So Wayfair, if you guys don't know what it is, is this online retailer that sells home goods like interior design, decor kind of stuff. Anytime I've ever seen a Wayfair ad, it's been like ridiculously expensive, like BITCH WHAT THE FUCK?! WHAT THE FUCK?! $2,000 for a bed frame that you could get at Ikea for like 150 bucks. Like it just always seems super overpriced. So I've never personally purchased from Wayfair. But their ads pop up on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere, they're everywhere. Every time you block us, we get smarter. Every time you try to stop us, we are more. You will never be rid of ads. Wayfair is also a company that works with Queer Eye on Netflix. Wayfair is like pretty big. If you haven't heard of it, you probably don't go on the internet that much. If you have heard of it, you may have heard about their scandal last year. So in 2019, Wayfair signed a contract with ICE detention centers. And I, oh! And they were supposed to supply furniture and beds and all that kind of stuff for the immigrants and detainees of the detention center. This caused massive backlash, huge uproar, a bunch of employees quit, and a bunch of people were very vocal about not supporting Wayfair anymore because they didn't feel like that was a positive place to be spending their money. Last year they got in quite a bit of hot water for, for that. Fast forward to this year. It's 2019. Mm, I love Kiwi. It's not 2019, I lied. Fast forward to this year, it's 2020, July 10th. I wake up and Wayfair is being accused of being involved in a sex trafficking scandal specifically with minors. So let me explain. So I think it started on either Twitter or Facebook. I'm not 100% sure. I've seen two different people claiming they're the ones who started it. Someone had noticed that there was extremely high prices on certain items like storage cabinets, pillowcases, and shower curtains. Another thing that they noticed even though these items sold on Wayfair, looked exactly the same in pictures. They had a different model name and some of them had different prices. Anywhere ranging from like $10,000 to $15,000, some being like even $18,000 for a storage cabinet. The model names happen to line up with names of missing children. I don't know about you, but I ain't about to spend $10,000 on a storage cabinet I can get from Ikea for like 200 bucks. It doesn't make sense. So the reason why I brought up the scandal that they had been involved in last year is because ICE has also admitted to losing a bunch of children. The reason why this makes a lot of people uncomfortable is because ICE has a bunch of children that are missing. Wayfair signed a contract with them and Wayfair is selling products that happen to have the same name as missing children that are they're selling their products for the, the price that sex traffickers sell human beings on the black market for. One Twitter user, what was his name? Twitter user Alcompa underscore chum claimed that he worked for Wayfair. And when he worked in Wayfair, he worked in the shipping department and the loading department. He said that when he worked there, they had this like kind of 
policy thing where they have certain items marked ASAP, which are very large, very heavy items, and those items have to be loaded into the air-conditioned cooled truck immediately, as soon as humanly possible, load it onto the truck and don't touch it anymore. There's no record, obviously, to prove that this particular Twitter user ever worked at Wayfair, so I don't know if that's true, but that's something that has added to the um, conspiracy theory online to say that they're trafficking humans. And lots of people have posted screenshots online, a few different uh, Twitter users and a few different Reddit users and a few different people online that have been sharing the screenshots of the products that are on Wayfair. The post that I had seen had been up for about 14 hours before I realized what was going on with the scandal. So immediately I start going on the Wayfair website to try to look up these items. And all of them have been removed. Every single item that is in question and is linked to this conspiracy theory has been taken off of Wayfair. Wayfair is still selling the UFX utility products, but they have taken off the extremely high, pro high, high price products and are now selling identical products with different model name for like 250 bucks instead of $10,000 to $15,000, which is really weird. So far, I've only talked about the UFX utility company, but there is another company in question that has been involved in the this alleged conspiracy theory where there's items named after missing children that are being sold online for extremely high prices. One of the companies in question is called Bungalow Rose, which is a company that seems to sell pillowcases and shower curtains for $10,000 each. But you would be able to buy these particular shower curtains and pillowcases off of Wish for like 7 to 20 bucks. So I don't really understand that. But according to Wayfair, their prices are priced accurately. I don't know how $10,000 is an accurate price for a pillow. But... The thing that really got me thinking that, okay, maybe this is potentially true, is that when you use the SKU for these particular products in question, copy that and then paste it into the search browser on on yandex.com or do, dorsen.org, a bunch of images of inappropriate hypersexualized images of little girls pop up and it's disgusting. Um, I screenshotted a couple of them. I'm not gonna do a, a video recording because I don't know how to blur out the faces of the kids and I don't, I'm not gonna post the faces of the kids. I did screenshot the results from the Yandex website but it's really disturbing. It seems like a weird coincidence, you know? And I'm not gonna be the one who says that Wayfair in particular is using these products by this company to sex traffic little girls, but I think there could potentially be someone, a third party, who is using Wayfair and selling the WFX utility products on Wayfair, which is a very popular brand sold on Wayfair. And they chose that brand knowing that it was extremely popular and could could be looked up a bunch of times without suspicion. There could potentially be someone that's using that website and as a third party seller, they're using that as a way to sex traffic children in the United States. Cause Wayfair isn't flagged, like it's not gonna be flagged as like a child pornography site. But if like some uh, random Joe is going on Wayfair to buy a storage unit, you know, no one's really gonna think twice about that. So I could see where someone who's really evil and really mischievous is doing it and it might not be directly Wayfair or even WFX Utility, but I could see it. It's just really fucked up. But there are people out there that will do stuff like I've heard of people that use like Skip the Dishes and like DoorDash and other food delivery services as like their front for selling drugs because you can just throw drugs into a bag and then walk up to the door, knock on the door and then they give you cash and there's nothing suspicious about it. So I could see where... There could be something like that happening, but I could also see where it could be something even bigger. So it'll be really interesting to see, yeah, how this all plays out. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I quickly want to just say, literally right after I turned off the camera, I went back online. The Russian sites that have the, where you could type in the SKUs from Wayfair and have child pornography pop up, That those particular pages have been taken down now. So you can no longer find child pornography linked to the SKUs from Wayfair. As of like half an hour ago, you were able to. So that's pretty crazy. Um, they're shutting this shit down quick and I'm wondering if it's police? Like government that's shutting it down? Like a human trafficking service that's like saving people? Or is it these people 
shutting everything down because it's gone viral, they've gone caught, and now they're gonna do, uh, figure out another way to do it. But anyways, that was an update. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye.